gosh, my lens, how does it get so dirty all the time? Oh, honey, what's wrong? Come here, sweetie. As soon as I sit down to film, it's like, Wah. what's wrong, Papa? Okay, I'm back. So today I'm going to play with a new makeup brand I haven't used before. If you saw one of my recent videos where I did a PR unboxing, I was sent some incredible, incredible makeup from a brand called Kaleidos. Their packaging was literally out of this world to die for. I don't think I've seen a brand put that much effort into the style and the packaging and just the presentation. So I'm so excited to try out some of their products today. I'm going to be using eyeshadow, lip gloss, and also some of their highlighters. Why is this so dark? Hold on. I think that looks a bit better. Just changed my f-stop a bit. This is what I'm going to be using today. They actually sent me all of their palettes, which I think is five or six of their palettes off the top of my head. But this is the one that I was so drawn to already because you guys know my love for green. But honestly, look at this packaging. Holy bowls, like wow. So this is their Futurism One Sci-Fi Green Palette. You open it up like this and there you have the shadows. So it does come with a mirror, but seriously, how beautiful is that? And definitely right up my alley. So I'm going to use this today and we're just going to have some fun. So as always, I'm just going to put a little bit of a concealer down. This one is pretty much empty, but it's all right. We'll make it, we'll make it work. So I will be using uh, some of their brushes as well that they sent me. I think five brushes here. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna go with this one first, I think. This one, this baby. So the first shade I'm gonna dip into, um, I th I'm hoping that this is the right one because I did take all of the palettes out and do some swatches on Instagram for you and I may have got the little slips messed up with the names. So I'm just gonna show you guys. I'm gonna use this first yellowy brown kind of mustard shade to start off with. Oh. I mean, this picked up so much. So this is quite a skinny brush as well, but it seems like it will be a good packing brush, but also a good blending brush. So I'm basically just gonna pat this on quite high. And so far the shadow seems beautifully pigmented. It's soft, you get a lot of product on your brush. Uh, it is quite soft in the pan, so this may cause fallout, but fallout doesn't really bother me. That's why I do my foundation last majority of the time. And we're done. <laughs> so still with the same brush, I am just going to soften this out. Now I'm going to dip in with probably a combination of these two greens. They are very, very similar. I would say the darker one has almost a slightly bluier kind of hue to it. So I use the lighter green and then the darker green, but I'm gonna go back in with that lighter green. I think I prefer that one. But this color is like packing on really nicely, especially over, you know, a base that's already quite pigmented. The neighborhood dogs are just going crazy today. I don't know if you guys can hear that. So I'm gonna go in with this fluffy brush. This is the S2 brush. Again, it is a little bit skinnier, but we're going to use this as a blending brush. So I'm going to go backwards between the first color we did and this color here and just kind of blend those in together. All right, I'm going to dip in with the black and some of the darker green. This black definitely does seem really, really pigmented. So you definitely could do like a real cut crease kind of look, but I'm thinking I just want to go for like more of a hazy approach. I really like that black. Now I'm going to go in with this very fluffier brush. This is the S1. Just with that darker green and that black, I just want to, yeah, really smoke and haze that out. 
So yeah, I don't mind if this look is a little bit kind of grungy. I think those can be quite fun. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the shimmery shades and I will just use my finger. So I'm gonna lay down this first green. I mean, look how freaking pretty that is. Oh my God, <laughs> seriously. Seriously, so pretty. I don't wanna be like crazy precise with it. I just wanna like meld that in. And can you imagine if you did like fully cut the crease and you had like a wet concealer base, this would just like glow to the gods. <laughs> so just with what's left over on that brush, I did just dip back into that green. And I know, you know, these kind of metallics don't work that well with especially a fluffy brush, but this is working quite well, <laughs> to be honest. I'm just kind of diffusing those lines in a way. I am just going to dip into a little bit of that gold as well, because I think you have to. Oh my gosh. And just quite close to that lash line, I'm just doing a little pop. These colors are beautiful. They seem very nice to work with. I wouldn't say the blending is like as seamless or foolproof as other brands, but still the blending is really quite nice. I think it does stick onto a tacky base quite quickly. So you may need to work a little bit quicker or do one eye at a time. God, I wouldn't say it's anything major. So what I'm gonna do is just put the rest of my base makeup on and do brows, all that jazz, and we'll be back to finish off the eyes. Oh, what a difference. So I'm now just going to line my eyes. I have a black that we're gonna use. Oh, I think I just, oh, I think it's gone. No. We'll use this one. This one seems nice actually. It is by Ellis and it is in Bark, I think. But it's like a, a bronzy kind of cool color. So I'm just gonna mimic similar shadows along the lower lash line. I love this so much. And a little bit of that green. I'm gonna go in with lips. This is a lip tonic and it is in the shade Immersion. I hope I'm saying that right, God. I'm shocking with reading. <laughs> I can read, but I can't. <laughs> oh, so these are basically like glosses. They're not sticky in any way. And they're just like, I feel like they just meld beautifully with your own natural lips. Mm, so pretty. Mm, and it feels like, I don't know, it feels like it just coats your lips in this like thin film of moisture in a way. They're really, really hydrating. Yeah, definitely not sticky in any way, not drying, but I feel like the color kind of dries down and then you're just left with this like long lasting kind of tint. It's just beautiful. This is another one. This is like a glitter. How crazy is this? It's awesome. It's in the shade Crystallized and I think we just have to use a little bit. <laughs> Oh my God, it's so glossy, oh, pretty. Now for highlighter, they have so, so many highlighters. Definitely check out my previous unboxing video because I show them all. But firstly, I'm gonna go in with this one, which is Ray Ryder. I have broken this, damn it. This is number three, Space Age. And it just looks like the most beautiful champagne kind of go-to everyday type color. But yes, I have smashed it, damn it. So I do have a little bit of setting spray. This one does seem like it is more, as I said, a natural-ish everyday glow. I mean, how freaking stunning is that? Almost like a lit from within, you know, melted glassy kind of look. I will use this under my brow bone as well. Okay. Now I do want to go in with a pop of another one 
because it just looks amazing. This one is Skywalker Space Age and it is pigmented. This one almost looks like it has a different kind of texture to it. It has like these blue pearlescent reflex in it. It just looks stunning. So I'm gonna go in with a slightly denser brush. I don't know if this is even showing up. Finger. Oh my god, look at it on your finger, seriously. Oh my god. Definitely space aged, beautiful. Just, oh my god. So I think this is really pretty layered over the top of like that more natural kind of shade. So definitely if you have highlighters and you think, how the hell am I going to use them? Layer them. And they're just, oh, so pretty. So pretty. Oh my gosh. In all honesty, I don't think I really need to do swatches for these because I used every single color. You saw how they worked with a brush and with my finger and like that is the go-to. They have so many other ones in their range. Seriously, like here they are. Look, look at this. I'll show you this one. Just, oh, I mean, hello. <gasps> So I do want to um, give you guys a little bit of a cost of these products as well. The eyeshadow palettes retail for $24. Very, very affordable. I am very impressed with the quality. They're pigmented. They do blend nicely. The metallics are just pack a punch beautiful as I said earlier like they don't blend as smoothly as say like the Tati palette I found out of all the shadows I've used they blend that was the best blending palette I've used but these remind me a lot of like Jeffree Star for example they're pigmented they're beautiful they're soft I've had zero fallout and I mean look how freaking stunning this looks oh yes the highlighters pack a punch they're just glossy and glowy and that surprisingly they don't really show much texture like my skin looks flawless and I don't have flawless skin uh, lips beautiful beautiful uh, hydrating glossy shiny but not sticky in any way like I'm just <sighs> zoomed you in the wrong way <sighs> lips retail for $16 these are as I said I Call them a kind of a gloss but they are a liquid lipstick so it does say the remedy for your deepest most burning matte cravings these potent elixirs behave like a lip stain but with the moisturization so they have like the, the lasting power of a lips liquid lip but they're hydrating they're amazing honestly they do remind me kind of similar of the line crime plushies in a way but i feel like these are more glossy more hydrating and obviously i do have the gloss over the top so that does make it glossy but without it i think they do dry down to more of a matte color i'm just yeah very very impressed and i can't wait to use some of the other palettes and just have a more of a play and see what i can create uh the price point is very very affordable i love their packaging i love their campaigns they use you know obviously different models of different ethnicities different tones different skin colors i i'd love it now i will have their website linked in the description box below for you guys if you want to check them out i am honestly very impressed with this brand they're cruelty free the owner themselves if you haven't watched my whole video you need to watch it because the owner actually reached out to me um, in the midst when i was having my miscarriage and everything i'd spoken to him previously before it all went, happened and then he actually reached out to me after seeing my Instagram and seeing my post and saying I'm just I'm so incredibly sorry and there's no way that I can begin to say to comprehend what you're going through but just you know I'm sorry and that was amazing especially because you know there's no kind of relationship built already like this is the first time I've ever worked with this brand um, I'm not being paid obviously but for them just to say acknowledge what's actually I was going through and send me a message like I know so many companies or brands would just pretend like they didn't see it and not mention it because you know it's a taboo subject and mm, don't talk about it but for him to actually say look We've seen your post and we're sorry. And I, it just speaks volumes to me. It just shows me that, you know, it's not just a brand, it's not just a company, it's like they're real people, you know, and just their generosity has been amazing. And I'm, yeah, I'm just a big fan. I'm a really big fan. And I, in these videos, I'm always 100% open and honest. I don't wanna, like, if something's shit, I will tell you guys. But for me, using this one palette, I've used the lips and the highlighters, like, mm, 
I love them. I love them. So thank you guys so much for sending me these goodies. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I definitely do want to experiment more with the palettes. I've got some stunning, stunning ranges. And I think there are already a few different YouTube videos up of this company. So wow, definitely one to check out, guys. Like these, these are good. And the people behind the brand are just nice decent people so not saying i know them personally because i don't but just based off my own experiences with them a little bit of kindness does go a long way so thanks <laughs> i want to zoom you guys in and just show you again um i might show you in different lighting as well god i see i've got food in my teeth how long's that been there for the whole video surely so yeah highlighters amazing eyeshadows i do love they're just beautiful i mean god i didn't blend it very well did i but I'm happy with how it looks. So, oh, I just, I feel good. I feel good. Let's take a photo. <laughs> Seriously, how good does that look with the flash on? Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, thank you rainbows for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment, like, subscribe, all that jazz. Hit the bell. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.